I guess before, before we get really started here, I, I guess I'd, I'd be uh, probably not uh, doing my job if I didn't at least thank our administration and everyone. You know, with the weather we had this week and, uh, and everything that it took to even get this field ready to play, uh, once again, I think that's one of those uh, hidden gems that we have here at UW-Whitewater that, that people take the time and what we were able to do to get the field where it was ready to go in the, in the, and uh, everything that way. And I'd like to graduate Linfield. Uh, as you see, they gave us everything we could handle, and then some, and uh, excellent football team. So uh, with that, I guess I'll just open it up for some questions. Thanks you guys trail for the first time all year today. Um, late in the fourth quarter, did you have any doubt um, after Jeff kind of struggled after that hit that he, you know, he'd be able to lead a significant drive, something you guys haven't had to do really all year? I don't know, you know, Jeff, you know, just about the time you, you think he, he's not in rhythm and all of a sudden he starts making some plays, you know. Uh, um, it, it was interesting that uh, I, I thought the one that really maybe had me thinking a little bit, maybe it wasn't our day, was probably the pass interference, the offensive pass interference on Corey Robinson. That, that's the one that kind of was like, okay, what's, what's going to happen? We're, we're just not, it's just not clicking here right now. But once again, I think our defense played outstanding. You know, with a couple guys down, we, were, we made some plays, and then offensively, we, we had a chance to, to to make some plays and did there. Coach, what did happen to Anthony White? Uh, I was uh, up in the press box and I saw he was limping a little bit. Well, uh, Anthony's battled this for a long time. It, it appears to, uh, it, you know, without getting, to, uh, you know, my guess, I'm not exactly sure. It, it could be a turf toe type of thing, and it's been something Anthony's really been. Fighting through, and uh, it just got to a point he couldn't go. Is his availability for next week going to be a question? Too early right now to tell. What's your thought on like how you're feeling like when the seconds are ticking down? I mean, knowing that your team battled, came back, uh, and just that you're going back for another time. Next well, week. you know, it's you know, this this team has had an excellent season, and it, in some ways, even today, I, I was talking to to my athletic director and talking about it's really. It's sometimes not not always you know life's not fair, but it's unfortunate sometimes that the, that their their success of this of their season was going to come down to this game. They had an excellent year. Um, it's it's been a great team effort in so many ways, but the, but unfortunately, our, our past success has forced us that that these are our measuring sticks, and and to be and and today's game was going to be one of those whether or not I guess their season was ultimately successful in some ways or not. So. Um, so when those final seconds were tip, t ticking down, I, I was I was happy for our players and our assistant coaches because they have put so much time and hard work in since, you know, I, as I told them at, at halftime, since the start of second semester last year, they've dedicated themselves for the for another opportunity to go to Salem. This is the first time you guys this this season really had to deal with some type of adversity late in the game. Uh, how, how impressed were you? With the way your guys responded, well, even though they weren't playing well at the time. Well, that and that and that, that's a key, you know. Something, you know. Again, last week we talked a little bit about it, and 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 you know, you, you've got to give credit to, to your opponent at times. That's forcing you maybe not to play as well as you you have, but to find out what you're made of when you're not on your top of your game. All you know, some things that you know, we and offsides on third down that that keeps a drive alive. Just those things that you just you, you know, it's not characteristic. It's it's nothing there, it's, you know. And there are some things that, that they were executing well on. That's where you're proud of, of, you know, the things that you've gone through in practices, the situations you put your players in, and then your senior leadership. But uh, I, I go back to our assistant coaches, obviously, and the great job that they do to to, to put our players in a position. But uh, it was great to see us, uh, you know, battle like that, and, and with, once again with our backs to the wall. Did the crowd play into any of your decision uh, before halftime to go for it? No, no, Jeff, it didn't. It was, it was. Uh, it was a thing about momentum and um, not not based on the non-conversion. Um, you know, I would look back at it as that's not what I've been doing. That's not, I, I look back at that and I, I got out of my philosophy a little bit there. Um, I'm glad it didn't cost us a ball game because I, I take ownership for that. Um, that was solely my decision. I've been big all year, and you guys have been here all year. I've talked about momentum in and out of the half, and I was hoping for a huge momentum, and I should have just taken the momentum that was given to us, and that was a that was a, a big mistake on my part. Talking about momentum, um, that's the most uh, off balance. You know, your defense especially was the second half. I mean, they just seemed to keep you off balance a little bit. 
uh, especially on third down. They're making you know big third down conversions. Talk a little bit about that. You well, know, not being able to make the stops. Well, that's because their quarterback's a pretty good player. You know, he's you know he's 26 for 38 or something. But you know, and that's the same thing we think about our quarterback. And when quarterbacks can make those plays, they they do a good job in their scheme and giving them time. We did get some pressure there later on, and um, but. Uh, you, you know that was a that was a concern coming into the game, and, and it wasn't nothing to do with our personnel. It had to do with their ability um, to execute. Um, it's a big offensive line that protects well. They, um, they they use their protection schemes well to to get there. So it's tough to get pressure, and if you're blitzing, you can't get to them. And he's getting rid of the ball, and they're effective with in, with their receivers. So that was a concern. And what you have to try to do is make those third and longs a little bit, uh, you know, uh, happen more frequently. So then the downfield throw comes, and then you may have a chance to get to him. Lance, you talked all year long about how poised this team is. And uh, we saw that in the second half. They didn't seem to panic out there, even though they had to play uphill a little bit in that football game. And that's just kind of the demeanor of this team, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's been that way. And, uh, you know, uh, the parts of this that, that has gone to, on to so long, it's, like it's, it's been such a collaborated effort to, in so many different ways of balance in different ways for different guys to step up. It's it's nice to see that really come through again. You know, Jeremy Deberts, a guy who was a starter essentially a year ago and, and isn't starting this year as a senior. And here he comes up with a big play at his last game at, at Perkins Stadium. You know, things like that makes this thing so rewarding is when you see guys that have taken their roles, accepted them, keep working hard, and uh, and this whole thing kind of come together and, and give us a chance to, to win a national championship. Were you surprised that they went for the fake punt there instead of trying to pin you deep a little bit, or is that? A little bit, you know, but, you know, the, after we had the fake punt uh, um, with uh, Wesley, and it, it was the same formation, and when we got kind of caught on that one, um, you know, uh, you know, say, you know, you, you see a formation, you kind of smell a rat there a little bit. I was just happy that our guys were able to, to, to see the formation and, and anticipate maybe something happening. With a mark on your back all season, uh, making it back to the Stag Bowl, just talk a little bit about that. Fifth straight year going back to season. It would be nice to be the underdog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we haven't been it all year, I don't think. So maybe that'll be a chance to be the underdog. Uh, you know, I yeah, I don't know. It's you know, uh, Kerry Harvard Cutter from Salem is there. You know, it's this. Uh, you know, people ask. This is a great opportunity, a great experience for our student athletes and our coaches. That, like I said before that have worked so hard. So this never gets old. It's a, you know, it, it, and to have a chance to compete with a, a program with the tradition of Mount Union, the job that Larry Karras does, uh, a chance to go experience what, what we will get, have a chance to do next week is, is, a, is just, um, it's a great feeling. Or since you've been here, you've been going to the stable and stuff, like, how, how have you felt just coming in here since 2007 and guiding this team where, uh, Kind of off what graduates did. Well, like, did you start feeling pressure over like? Well, you know, I, you know, there's there's pressure with any job. Most most of the pressure is probably uh, there's probably more put on myself internally than externally. Um, you, you know, the bars had been set very high here. Understand that, knew that coming in. Um, but it's still a matter of trying to take it a, a day at a time, a game at a time, and, our, and I, I think we've we've done a good job of that here. And, and to keep striving for that, and then hopefully you have that opportunity as we do as we do coming now. And um, it's this isn't uh, this isn't about one person. It never has been, never will be. Um, uh, I'm I'm just very fortunate to be in this seat right now, and, and have a, a lot of resources around us and a, and a great opportunity. So um, I, I can't tell you again how proud I am of our assistant coaches. And if you guys were around these guys seven days a week like I am, you, you, that's there's a big reason and that, that we are where we are. And then, of course, you go to our student-athletes and, and, and the players that we have in the program. Last year, uh, 